Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today this reading is going to be for whoever it's meant to be for. So please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate with you and that is okay. So pick up what does and drop the rest for someone else to appreciate. Capiche? Capiche. Okay, um, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button. It is greatly appreciated and it does help out the channel okay i also would like to say thank you guys for all your paypals your cash apps your venmos um the super thanks super chats i think that's what they're called thank you thank you for all of them okay they're appreciated and they do not go unnoticed all right i don't know if this music loud in the background or what but i'm gonna just i'm gonna turn it down a little bit just for y'all okay listen y'all so I just got finished doing the Taurus reading. You guys should check that reading out, okay? Um, what was I gonna say? So like I said in the Taurus reading, I'm probably gonna repeat certain things from that reading into this reading because I have a lot of channel messages here um, that applied to that, um, to the Taurus reading, okay? All right, so I channeled two songs yesterday, okay? Or not yesterday, this morning, okay? So the first one was T-Pain, I'm Sprung, okay? And then I also channeled the song, what's it called? Le, it's from LaBouche, <laughs> Be My Lover. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I could be butchering the fuck out of it, but let's see what the fuck is going on, okay? I feel like heavily there's somebody here that really wants to be with you or they have you heavily on their mind confirmation um okay somebody wants you to be their lover i already had the i'm sprung from t-pain for the taurus reading okay so we're gonna focus on the other song all right in this reading so there's someone here could be sprung over you all right um this could have been first for in the Taurus reading. I feel like we discovered that there is someone from your past. Okay. That, um, could have caused you a lot of pain. Hence the T pain that wants to come back. Okay. Just watch the reading child. But okay. Let's focus on the other song. Lyrics, please. The album from this song is called Sweet Dreams. So someone here could be having sweet dreams about you. It's called La Bouche, Be My Lover, okay? Wait, let me go to this one. Oh, she's pretty. Okay, let me see. Sorry, I've never seen this music video before. Um, let's go to the lyrics. Okay, so it goes, be my lover, wanna be my lover. Okay, um, is this a remix or something? Maybe this is a remix. This is an older song, so I don't know. The chorus says it's by Melanie Thornton, Thornton so maybe, I don't know, who cares? Let me keep going. Um, it goes, looking back on all the time we spent together, you ought to know by now if you want to be my lover, want to be my lover. Okay, it says, go ahead and take your time, boy. You got to feel secure before I, I'll make you mine, baby. You have to be sure. You want to be my lover, want to be my lover. And then it goes into like the dance beat, okay? says, in summer, in winter, in spring, in fall, in the day, in the night, I want to be your lover. says, I must confess, girl, yes, I want to be your lover. Take a chance, my love is like no other. On the dance floor, getting down, hold tight, I'll never let you down. My love is definitely the key, like boys to men. I'm on bended knee, loving you, not like your brother. A, ah, uh, yeah, I want to be your lover. I hear what you say, I see what you do, I know everything I need to know about you, and I want you to know that it's telling me you want to be my lover. Okay, so, somebody wants to be your lover, okay? 
They don't want to just love you like a brother. They want to love you like a lover, okay? I also feel like this could be a friend that you, like, may call a brother. Like, you are you could be like, oh, I love this person. They're like my brother. They're like, I love them like my brother. Maybe that friend wants to be with you, like, more than that. Maybe they haven't communicated this. Okay, that's for some of you, not all y'all, child. I was picking up heavy Aquarius energy, okay? So I could be speaking to an Aquarius that this is for, or, um, I don't know. Aquarius is somewhere in this beach. Okay. Something here about dreams as well. So you guys could be dreaming about this person, don't have to be. When was this released, child? Come on, get it together. My Wi-Fi is taking forever. It's being touchy. You know what? I don't even need to know. We don't need to know. We can move forward. Okay, so back to the channeled messages. Um, you guys could be dealing with someone who's very stoic, okay? Or you could be very stoic or maybe... Um, Someone feels like it's hard to read you, okay? So if someone finds it hard to figure you out or to read you, okay? Um, maybe someone doesn't know how somebody really feels about another individual because of maybe how their face be sitting, okay? This can be you or someone else, all right? Flip it where, flip it where it needs to go, all right? What else? Oh, yeah, for some of you, this could just be a confirmation. Um, there's someone here who's been craving a lot of Asian cuisine, okay? Asian foods, this could be for you. Flip it where it needs to go. Or you could be trying to learn how to cook Asian food, okay? Like, I don't know, um, miso soup or something. You're doing something. I don't know what you're doing. Okay? Something about sesame seeds. I don't know. 1010 10 could be of significance, all right? You guys could be seeing that number a lot. 1010, 10, 11, 11, and 1212, 12, 144, and 444. If so, this message is definitely for you, all right? Um, also, the angel number 333. Three, 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 three. There's something here about like, um, I said this in, this in the Taurus read, but I'm gonna say it here again, okay? Confirmation. So earlier today, when I was meditating, I was seeing two trains, like, coming towards each other, okay? But they share, like, the same track, the same tra uh, train track, right? But, um, you know how, like, those train tracks, they have, like, that little Dewey Mahicker, the thing? <laughs> the thing that divides this, the, the rails to go into other directions, like, like, so they don't crash, okay? There's something like that that's going on, okay? So I feel like there's a fated event about to occur or two people are about to cross each other's path that are fated to, all right? I was getting something here about this could be something astrologically that's happening either in your chart, their chart, everybody's chart, the universe, I don't know. Something here is destined to happen for... A select few individuals all right i also was getting something here about like when this happens someone's reality is gonna take a huge shift okay and i feel like it's in a positive sense whatever this is it's it's um life-changing event okay this could be regarding love because i was picking up something about star-crossed lovers or i um this could just be about like I don't know, an opportunity or child, I don't know, all right? I don't know everything. I'm not God, all right? Um, what else, what else, what else, what else? Some of you could live by a train, I don't know. Your guys' ears could be ringing a lot. Um, I've been hearing a lot of like, not necessarily ringing, but like, um, how can I describe the sound? Kind of sounds like this. Um, Like, kind of like that in the ear, but like, like not a ring, but like, doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> I know that sounds weird. 
Okay, that could be a confirmation for somebody. Um, let me see what else. Oh, yeah, um, I was picking up something here about... <sighs> there could be somebody here that is about to be a grandmother. All right, if so, congratulations on that grandbaby. All right? Or, uh, someone here is already a grandmother. You could be a very, you could be a young grandma, okay? That's for some of you, not all y'all. All right? Or just like something here is unexpected. I don't know, child. We got someone, um, or you're about to receive something that like people may feel like it's before your time or people, or, or that's what like, you know, socially people feel like it's too, I don't know, some, some, something's unorthodox, I guess, or untraditional that could be happening for somebody. Um, regarding whatever this faded thing is i don't feel like everybody gonna be smiling about this that's another vibe that i'm getting but i know your ass will you will be happy and i feel like that's all that fucking matters um i also feel like there's someone here around you or somebody here that you once were connected with that wants you to look dumb or wants you to feel dumb but this person's dumb I don't know, something, something like that could be going on. I also was picking up something here about like camping gear. I just kept seeing camping gear. Okay, so I don't know if you guys are planning on going camping here soon. I mean, it is like summer. So maybe you guys are um, planning on going camping. That sounds fun. Confirmation. Um, I was look, I was seeing um, that fucking, the symbol, the Coleman Coleman camping gear symbol, the, the little logo thing, okay? So something about that is significant. Maybe you own this type of camping gear. Let's see, let's see. Ugh, I can never get used to the kava. The kava tastes wild i'm drinking kava right now if you guys are wondering um it's mud water <laughs> keep going holy spirit holy angels what's going on i can't drink matcha right now it's already it's evening time now where are we it's 4 52 i can't be i have to i'm I'm learning how to uh, be disciplined with my matcha, okay? It's late. I'm not doing that. Okay, I have to be a big girl. Holy <laughs> spirit, holy angels. I'm also getting, for whoever I'm speaking to, like something real serious is about to happen to where like you gotta be real, like something here is gonna be, I'm a big girl now. I don't know. Or a big kid. Something something is happening. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's happening? What do they need to hear? Okay, we have patience. This is something here you've been patiently waiting for. Someone here could be a Sagittarius or you could be dealing with. We got, we got love begins, all right? So you and another person are definitely going to have some sort of new beginning in love or you're just going to have love be poured back into you because you poured a lot of love out. Something like that could be of significance, okay? We have intuition. You're being asked to listen to your intuition at this time. We have rest and rejuvenate, okay? So it's a time for you to rest and rejuvenate, all right? Maybe you do need to go out camping. Maybe you do need to be outside connecting or just taking, you know, a little vacay, all right? Patience is out here twice. It says, I accept that everything happens in divine order. We have emotional loss out here. And then we have conflict and defeat. Um, and then we have harmony. So someone here could feel conflicted or defeated because maybe someone's deciding to make something. Someone here could be trying to like mend a relationship or reunite with another person. Something here about honeycombs could be of significance.
the colony, the queen bee. I don't know what this means. The hive. Maybe someone's like a beekeeper. Who knows, Gerald? Let me let me keep going. Oh, my eyes. Okay. Let's see what's going on with y'all. Before I do that. Holy Spirit, my angels, what do we need to know about this reading? Virgo. Somebody here could be a Virgo or they could have Virgo somewhere in their charts. Maybe there's a need for you to analyze something here. There could be someone coming in that's very reliable. Okay. Second house. This person could be a Taurus. You could be a Taurus. Flip over needs to go. Someone could be giving you some resources. Someone wants to give you something of value, money, something. Or because you know your self-worth, this is why there's something here that's coming in. You've been patiently waiting for this. This love, this harmony with an emperor. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the pig. This could be you or someone else. Okay, flip it where it needs to go. Abundance. Some sort of abundance is coming in for y'all. Listen, whoever I'm speaking to, you could have perfect you could have perfected um something here when it comes to your second house, when it comes to your resources, your money, or this is something that you need to do. But I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, I feel like you've done this. You could be very analytical when it comes to your resources. Like you think before you spend or you um, are very patient about big purchases here, okay? There could be another person here that could be careless with this, okay? They could be careless with their second house. Or someone's hoping you to be gullible when it comes to like your wealth, your security, your valuables. Your, yourself we got capricorn this person could be a capricorn don't have to be um or you could be a capricorn flip it where we need to go baby boo um this same energy maybe there's somebody here that wants to use you for your second house or for your resources or for something that you have for your abundance uh Something here about your career. Be careful at this time. Use your intuition before making any like dra drastic decisions, okay? There could be someone here that um, really doesn't really like your public standing, your social image, your success, your recognition, your perceived power, okay? Something here about your reputation is of significance. There could be a Capricorn or a Virgo. Wanting to gain something here. I don't know. Maybe these, maybe these people are your coworkers. Don't have to be, though. Flip it where I need to go, child. I don't know what that was about. Tell me more. What's going on with this? Why do we have... um? Or something is fated to happen with that with the tenth house. Something here about destiny. 
for some of you, you're destined to have wealth. Okay. Why do we have patience here? Yeah, we got cover up. Somebody here could be trying to cover something up that happened in the past. We got love begins. We have not listening to the signs. So someone here could not be listening to the signs at this time. Okay. Or someone wants you to be gullible. They don't want you to listen to the signs. Especially when it comes to the era of the area of love or when it comes to like, you know, how you spend your money or um, what you give your energy to, your attention to. Why do we have intuition? Someone wants you to be careless. We got karmic. This could be a karmic. You need to have... Uh, listen to your intuition when it comes to a karmic individual. Because something is not as it seems... There's someone here who could definitely be getting readings on you. They're trying to figure out what you got going on in your life. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> Who's getting readings on them, Spirit? Can we please find out? This could be a feminine energy that's getting readings on y'all. Okay, or you could be a feminine energy that someone's getting readings on. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who's getting readings? Virgo. So this could be a Virgo here that's getting readings on you. This could be a feminine energy Virgo, Virgo or, um, or or a man. Flip over needs to go, it doesn't matter. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do we have get, uh, getting readings on you? Who is this? We got a horse. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the horse, or you do, okay? Or the person giving getting a reading on you, it does. We got feeding, fleeting. This is someone here who's who's fake to you, basically. Um, their feelings for you aren't real, okay? They laugh with you in your face and stuff and have fun, but behind your back they're talking major shit. This is someone here that could be someone who admires you, all right, that could be getting readings on you, or um, the reason someone's getting readings on you is because they know someone admires you and they're trying to make sure that a faded meeting does not come to be, okay? This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the rabbit. Note the date. This could be you um, or the person that's getting readings on you or flip it where needs to go. Why do we have a uh, karmic? Who's this karmic here? They need to pay attention to their intuition. A twin flame, Okay. So, I don't know. Pay attention to your um, intuition when it comes to a twin flame or when it comes to a karmic trying to convince you that they are your twin flame. Tell me more. Why do we have intuition with karmic? Gemini. This could be a Gemini or an ex-lover. Okay? An ex-lover karmic. Or a two-faced individual. Use your intuition. Why do we have um, intuition with the karmic? We have rooster. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the rooster that is a karmic. Or this is the Chinese zodiac sign of your twin flame. Or this is your Chinese zodiac sign. What do we have intuition, spirit? We have long term. Okay, so this karmic is someone that you've known for a very long time. You need to use your intuition when it comes to this person. This person may want to put something to rest. Okay, for you. We have monkey. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the monkey. Okay, this could be you that you... Um, Need, this could be your Chinese zodiac sign and you need to listen to your intuition when it comes to a karmic individual or this is the Chinese zodiac sign of a karmic, okay? Why do, um, why do we have rest and rejuvenate? We got drinking. Someone here could be drinking a lot and then we have death spell, okay? And then we have playing games. So someone here could be playing games with your mind, okay? Or somebody here wants to play games with your heart. Keep playing games with my heart. <laughs> We have drinking and then we have a death spell. So someone here is trying to, I don't know. Uh, maybe someone's trying to get you to drink in order for you to die. I don't know. Or for something to end for you. Okay, weird. Um, I don't think I'm this one. Or someone's gonna, if there's, okay, if someone here was doing a death spell on y'all, and this person's a heavy drinker, they might pass away from drinking, okay? Yeah, this could be someone who was doing dark magic on you. Or there's someone here that wants you to be like, oh, someone wants you to overindulge in alcohol and drugs, or something like that. 
so that something you could not know something someone does not want you to know something somebody wants you to be asleep someone doesn't want you to have your intuition on point somebody wants your 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 thinking not to be clear we have the moon out here something here about an illusion someone's trying to keep something hidden okay i'm also getting something about someone not wanting you to learn about something here someone doesn't want you to meditate some of, whoever I'm speaking to, you need to meditate. Because when you do, your your ancestors, your angels, your spirit team is going to give you information about how to either get create wealth into your life, okay? Or abundance, or whatever this is, child. This is someone here that's trying to make something difficult for you. We got the snake at the bottom of the deck. I'm also getting somebody could have been lying to someone saying that you were you're drinking and you're casting death spells on people. Or someone here could have been lying and saying that you had an affair with somebody. Or this is just someone here who's a rival. I'm also getting be careful about going out drinking with somebody because this person has may have the this could be someone who's very jealous of you or a rival of yours, a secret rival, and this person is trying to um they could be trying to poison you or something. This could be a woman for some of y'all that's your friend or a family member. I don't know. Something like that could be significant. So just be mindful. Um, mm. This could be someone that you work with because under the moon card, it even says work reputation. So maybe this is somebody that, like a coworker. They want to invite you out somewhere. Just be careful. Use your intellect. Listen to your intuition. Because someone here is playing games. They're trying to cover something up. There's something that you know possibly that will uncover something here that someone's been trying to keep hidden. Okay. What's up with this cover up spirit? Okay, we have Clover. Someone's trying to cover up some sort of money here. Or is trying to cover up um, someone uh, having an opportunity here. Or a chance. Or something here about some sort of fate. Yeah, we got peace here. Harmony. Someone's trying to stop you from having peace or harmony. Someone's trying to cover up your purity. Or someone here is trying to like ruin, dirty up your name. Dirty up your image. Okay, because you're someone here who is pure. Yeah, this is what someone's trying to do. This is someone's plan. This is someone here who wants to power, wants to have power and control over you with the tower here. I also feel like someone here who was playing with, with magic or was getting spells out of a book. Oh, Lord. They, this person, this person could be of Irish descent, but this person who was trying to get spells out of some books. It's not going to last long, whatever these spells are, okay? It says short at short acting doesn't last. Gamble. Somebody took a gamble here to try to cover you up, to cover up who you are as a person, cover up your divinity, trying to hide you, but it's, it's going to be revealed. Or It's because they don't want someone else to see you for who you are. Oh my God, what do we got love begins with not listening to the signs? We have success, key, opportunity, positive, solution, and answer, life purpose, okay? There's something here about your life purpose, you and another person, okay? There's something here about you two sharing some sort of life purpose here, okay? There's some sort of spiritual love here, love connection. Yeah, someone wants to offer you something. Mm. This could be somebody from your family. We have Queen Bee on this card. Give me a second. Mm. 
someone's goal is to date you somebody wants to date you for a long term okay maybe someone sees you as someone very stable but why do we have not listening to the sign someone's confused or there's some sort of temptation here or you're being asked not to be tempted by someone coming in trying to offer you something because this could be an offering coming from a karmic that's why you're being asked to listen to your intuition it says all all this i will give you he said and if you will bow down and worship me oh this is satan okay so satan's coming in and try to offer you something okay ciao uh don't believe in the illusion ciao this is when uh when satan tried to offer uh jesus to the, the kingdom of blah 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 and whatever right ciao I'm also kind of getting like, how can, how is Satan going to offer Jesus something that, that his daddy created? Like what, <laughs> like, I, never mind. Let me just keep going. Yeah. Page of grains. Someone here is, someone here is going to try to offer you something fucking small. Don't settle for less. Don't, don't, um sell yourself short or something here okay guys teaching the teachers you could be teaching the teachers it says he began to speak um boldly in the synagogue when priscilla and aquila heard him they invited him to their home and explained to him the way of god more adequately Someone's trying to stop you from being a teacher, okay? Someone's trying to stop you from um, spreading some form of information. Someone's trying to stop someone off their path or stop them from their destined path. This is a karmic being sent in. Someone's gonna come in acting like they're gonna they're gonna show you the world. We got high priestess. I could be speaking to a high priestess. This is a warning. I don't know if you heard the car alarm. And when it was going off, it was 511, but now it's 512. So let's look up this number. I already looked this number up before. Angel number 511 suggests that karmic life changes are ahead of you. It says, or are occurring in your life right now. Your angels want you to remain courageous and positive throughout these transitions. Okay? Do not back down. Do not pedal fucking backwards. You need to keep moving forward, okay? They support and surround you with love and healing, okay? Mm. Mm -mm. This could be a Knight of Wands coming in. Trying to offer you something. This could be a younger fire sign. Don't have to be. Flip it where it needs to go. Or you're a younger fire sign. It says... Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you whenever you go. Okay, someone's name could be Joshua. It says, Knight of Candles, Joshua, Leader of Faith. Do not lose hope. Do not lose faith. Someone's really trying to, like, kill the faith within you, Joe. It 
someone wants to come in with some fake love someone here might might be coming in trying to um give you your flowers and then also trying to offer you something like somebody wants you to like choose them over god basically is the vibe i'm getting okay or over your um your life purpose your whatever you're here to do The number 711 is out here. You guys could be seeing this number. Someone's trying to trick you out. You're fucking blessing, bro. This is pissing me off. Why we got intuition with karmic? Yeah, we got a star out here. You're a fucking star. I'm a motherfucking star. Star boy. <laughs> Let me stop. No, but for real. Um... Someone here could be born February 17th. Okay, this could be you or somebody else. But this, um, someone here could be an Aquarius. Continue to follow this, your northern star, your north star. Yes. Someone's trying to sacrifice you. That's basically what's happening. Get out Big Bertha and see what the hell going on. These motherfuckers is getting wild. <laughs> They're getting wild out here. Actually, before I do that, let me get these and just see what we got going on and then I'll. Holy <laughs> Spirit of Angels, what's happening? What do they need to hear at this time for their highest good? We had a conversation starter. It says they always need to check up on you for new ideas. We have dark magic shit. So someone here could be doing some dark magic shit here for show. Sure. We got 888. Maybe someone's doing dark magic shit on your wealth, your abundance, and opportunities. Because this person knows that your um, abundance, opportunities, okay? And your wealth is on its way to you. You guys could be seeing 88 a lot. I'm also getting this person is constantly checking up on you to see um, how they can hex or curse some sort of opportunity for you or upcoming blessing or something like that. Yeah, it's up again. 888, tell me more. Thank you. We have 555. It says changes. Something positive is on its way towards you, okay? Something positive is on its way towards you, all right? We have, and someone knows this. Okay, that's why they're doing this. We have abused abilities. It says about to get cut from their gifts. So someone here is about to get cut from their gifts. So this could be another gifted individual who's doing a lot of dark magic shit. So someone here who is spiritually gifted is using their gifts for with bad intentions. Okay? And they're gonna lose they're gonna lose these gifts because they're using them irresponsibly. Tell me more. We have pause. It says things slow down for a reason. So whoever I'm speaking to, if you're experiencing things um, slowing down for you, it, it was for a reason. It was for a reason to protect your abundance, your wealth, and some sort of opportunity. So that's why you're being asked to remain patient and to to rest at this time and rejuvenate. Okay. Someone here could be 39 years old. We have 999. You guys, are, someone is seeing a lot of signs. I don't know who you is, but you could be seeing a lot of motherfucking numbers. All right. We got 999. It says the end of a cycle is coming to an end. Okay, and maybe that's why somebody here is wiling out. It says the third eye closed. They can't see shit. So someone here can't see shit no more. Their intuition is off or someone here was trying to close your third eye. They want you to make the wrong choice. 
Tell me more. Someone, someone's being warned right now through this reading. 1010. I can't make this up. It says, you are surrounded by unconditional love. You need to remember this. Something is coming to a completion. These people trying to do, trying to do curses and hexes on you is coming to an end. They're, they're, and how it's coming to an end is, is this person won't even be able to perform these curses or rituals or whatever to block you. That's what's happening. Maybe this person who's doing the dark magic shit, okay, this could be another high priestess for some of y'all. This person has been warned several times. They've been seeing the signs and ignoring them. This person could be, could have been ignoring that you are a child of the divine, of God. They've been ignoring it or if they, or they don't care. And they're just allowing their own jealousy and ego to get in the way. Okay, we have fake news. This is always making up something new. Don't allow their fake tears or smile to fool you. So this person, ciao. They might come in with a sob story. If this person comes to you and they're telling you that their life has, a, has been at a pause or is at a... A, a, a state of stagnation it was like it's been slowed down for a reason for them because they're experiencing karma or they're under judgment and you're being told not to believe their fucking lies don't be fooled by their tears don't be fooled by their smile either because someone is coming in just to do this to block your wealth your abundance and your opportunities so just be mindful this is a this is a fucking op we have an enemy is waiting to get close to with you to gain something against you. Hell no. No. Say hell no to this person. Do not let this person near you. <laughs> Who is this fucking op spirit? Who is this op that they need to be mindful of? This is someone this op is someone you've known for a very long time or somebody that you once in a, were in a long-term friendship or relationship or business relationship with. We have fleeting, okay? This is someone who's very two-faced. Love you today, hate you tomorrow. We have um coming in to nurture and support you. Don't believe them. Or her. We got family or past connection. So this could be a family member that's trying to come towards you. This could be a Virgo in your family, a Capricorn in your family, an Aquarius from your family. A Sagittarius from your family, a Pisces from your family, tell me more, or someone you had a past connection with. We got mirror. This is somebody here who wants to come in and have you mirror the same experiences that they're going through or, the, or have you mirror the same judgment that they're under, okay? We have ox. This person can have the Chinese zodiac sign of the ox or you do. Flip it where it needs to go. We have dog. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the dog. This could be you or somebody else. Flip where it needs to go. And there's people as well that you've only known for a short amount of time that might be coming back in. Okay. Let's get our big birthday. Lord have mercy. Holy Spirit, holy angels. These motherfuckers. Somebody doesn't want you to be leading the people or something. Someone doesn't want people to listen to your ass. They don't want you to be influencing people because it, it I don't know. I'm looking at this card right here. It says, at once he began to preach in the synagogues that Jesus is the son of God. Someone doesn't want you talking about God. Someone doesn't want you to be turning people into believers. This is the darkness that rules this planet does not want y'all to be out here talking about God. Look, we had 444 on the clock. Okay. Someone doesn't want you out here spreading love, letting people know that they are lovable and they're deserving of love or to act out of love. Someone wants people to be controlled by fear. They, the rulers of the darkness of this world want people to continue to be acting out of their lower chakras that are imbalanced. They want people to be overworking and underpaid. They want people out here to be angry. They want people to get into physical altercations with people. They want people to be stuck in 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 a cycle of hatred and, and jealousy and envy. They this they don't want people to have courage to go after what they want to go after or or to to create their their life how they want it to be. They don't want people to be out here um doing that. 
Okay? And we we're not fighting against flesh and blood. Okay? We're fighting against something else. Things we cannot see. Okay? This goes beyond just like thinking it's the government's fault. It's, it's bigger than that. Okay? Whatever this is. Let's see what's going on. I'm also getting whoever I'm speaking to. There's something here that God is going to be using you to communicate. And the powers that be know that. Someone knows the full extent of your purpose more than you do. We have invasion of privacy. Someone's been invading your privacy. To plot to harm you. Someone here could be plotting to harm you. Someone's first motor or last name could start with a V. Or this could be you. Flipper needs to go. I'm also getting to something about the power of your words. You may not realize how powerful your words are. Or the reason why you have like these powers that be eyes on you is because of your influence. Something about that is going on. We got justice for a child could be of significance, okay? Listen, that's for some of you, not all y'all. I'm also getting if somebody here wrote a book, someone doesn't like the information you put in it. I, I don't know, we got rapists. I was trying not to say that word, okay? That could be of significance. Maybe somebody's trying to, um, maybe someone's trying to force themselves on you, okay? to film it someone wants to film something and what the hell going on maybe someone's trying to scare you to be quiet i don't know what will... we have earth sign this could be an earth sign that's trying to do this or you're an earth sign or someone's plotting to harm an earth sign okay flip it where it needs to go or it could be both chow we have um can't laugh at themselves red flag so you guys could be dealing with someone who doesn't know how to laugh at themselves Somebody here could be a sociopath, okay? So someone here that doesn't um, understand humor or something like that, or I don't know. Tell me more. Or someone who's like very uptight. I don't know. Something like that could be of significance. Tell me more. What the hell is going on? Someone's first middle or last name could start with a G. This could be you or someone else. Tell me more, spirit. We have unwritten law evolution. So whoever I'm speaking to, you continue to steadily evolve into who you're supposed to be. And someone don't like this. Someone is trying to stop something from changing. Nothing changes if nothing changes. Someone doesn't want you out here promoting change or something like that. Or someone, somebody benefits from things not changing <clears throat> and keeping them the way they are. Now there's a doggy barking outside. It says sending fly flying monkeys to your place of business, BBB. It says trying to ruin your business or your company, trying to get close to you to get info to try to ruin your reputation. So this is what's happening. Be careful, be mindful. There's a, there's a doggy out here. I don't know if you hear him. Someone's trying to change your abundance, your wealth, your blessings. It's 528 on the clock. We have I drive by your house. So someone here could have been driving by your house, whoever this R worder is, or the person that's trying to force themselves on you. This person is in their south node. Tell me more, spirit. We have hidden Jerug money could be of significance for some of you. Maybe someone's trying to harm you or to get you to shut up because you know something here. 
or you could be exposing some sort of hidden Jerug money. We have Capricorn. There could be a Capricorn here that's trying to harm you, or you're a Capricorn and someone's trying to do this to you. Or there could be a Capricorn here who's trying to send flying monkeys to your place of business to ruin your reputation. Or there's a Capricorn coming in to offer you something to tempt you. And it's a it's a trick. Don't fall for the illusion. Okay? Or this is happening to a Capricorn. Capricorn also represents career. 10th house. Someone's trying to ruin your career or something like that or what your destiny is. Okay? We have you know who they are. So you already know who this person is. You already know who the person is that's driving by your house. You already know who the person is who's invading your privacy. Okay? You already know who the who is an R-worder. Okay? Someone really doesn't like that you have this self-love. Someone also doesn't like that someone wants to come in and show you love. Okay? Tell me more, spirit. We have fake laugh. Somebody here could always have a fake ass laugh. Okay? We have um, DNA found. So some sort of DNA has been found here. Tell me more. Or if someone did um, force themselves on you, okay? Their DNA has been found or they're going to be found because they left behind their DNA. I don't know. We have manslaughter. Someone here could be getting in trouble for manslaughter. Or someone's trying to get you convicted of manslaughter or something here. We have... I'm already in a relationship. So someone here could already be in an, be in a relationship that's driving by your house, invading your privacy. Weird. Tell me more. We have gang activity. So this could be a whole group of individuals who are plotting to harm you. Or somebody here could be in like a street gang that was plotting to harm you. These people are going to get bad karma for doing so. For creating some sort of drama. Or whoever this drama creator is. Someone was doing this because you're a self-made success story. This could be a cancer here who has a fake laugh or you're a cancer. Okay, flip it where it needs to go. Or there could have been a cancer here that was invading your privacy. All right. Or there's a cancer here that's already in a relationship. That could be driving by your house. Or this has happened to you, cancer. I don't know. Something here about your fourth house. Something about your home. Maybe somebody knows that you... You don't, you lack some form of support. Maybe you live by yourself. Maybe that's why someone feels like you're the perfect tar target for this. This could be for my men and my women. Okay. We have arrested. Someone here could be getting arrested. Or if this person comes near you, they're going to get arrested. Someone's being told not to do something. And if they do it, they will get arrested. Tell me more, spirit. Something here about your roommate could be of significance. Okay, or an old roommate could be of significance. Your old your old roommate could have been teaming up with a Capricorn trying to create drama in your life. Okay? Trying to ruin your reputation. Or trying to get info on you to ruin your reputation. I don't know. We got freckles. Someone here could have freckles. This could be you or somebody else. Alright? The person who may want to harm you could have freckles. Tell me more. Or you do. Flip it where needs to go, child. We have, I tried to get you fired. So someone here definitely tried to get you fired. Someone's trying to get you fired by getting you arrested or something. Maybe at your place of work or... I don't know. A whole group of individuals try to get you fired. These are weirdos. We have, there's no magic pill for self-love. These people don't love themselves. That's why they're doing this to you. We got exposed. Someone here is about to get exposed for being weird. We have now they're running back to you. Stay strong. Do not take this person back. Please do not take this person back. Tell me more, spirit. What the hell is going on? What else they need here? We have Sagittarius. There could be a Sagittarius that's going to be getting exposed, or you're a Sagittarius and you got someone around you that's about to get exposed. It says you were a blood sacrifice. So someone here is about to get exposed for trying to sacrifice somebody. Or a whole group is going to get um, exposed for trying to sacrifice you. We have secrets exposed. A lot of secrets being, a lot of things being exposed here. We have stepdad. Something about your stepdad is of significance, child. Okay, we have jealous parents. Something about your jealous parent. Okay, could have gotten, tried to get you fired. The knock, the, the knocks. 
some about Fort Knox could be of significance, but uh, the cops are gonna be knocking on these motherfuckers' door for what they were planning on doing to you, okay? Don't feel like they're getting away with something because they're not. The divine saw every step these these people were taking. We have slow down, busy bee, so you're being asked to slow down at this time, rest and rejuvenate, okay? Because you're about to be set free, all right, from whatever this is. We have obsessed. There was a whole group of individuals obsessed with trying to get you fired, trying to get you arrested, um, trying to harm you. There's proof and evidence of these people doing this. They're going to be experiencing bad karma if they aren't already. Okay? That's why they're trying to run back to you. <clears throat> Family lover, business friend. We have sold naked photos. So someone here could have sold naked photos of you. Okay? To try to ruin your reputation. Or this is what someone's going to try to do, okay, in the next three days. Because they're a loser. Tell me more, spirit. We have rabbit. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the rabbit, okay, or you do. Or someone here was planning on doing something treacherous, and this plan is going to be exposed. We have February. Someone here could be an Aquarius or a Pisces. Or something here about the month of February is when this person's bad karma started happening, or these people's bad karma started happening. Okay, we have nervous. Someone here could be nervous at this time because they know they have getting exposed. We have hiding a death in the family. So something here about that could be of significance for some of you. We have one year. Okay, so something could have been happening for one year. They've been planning to do something to you for one year, plotting to harm you for one year. It says wishes the worst for you. So there's someone here that was wishing the worst for you. And now they're nervous. We got an emotional person. Someone here is going to be coming to you, crying and shit. It's all fake. The police are investigating them, or the police was investigating you for a whole year, and they didn't find shit on you. Or these people don't realize that they've been investigated. They've been getting investigating for a whole year. These This group of people trying to get you fired, trying to plot to harm you. We have unwilling to see the other side. So this is these are people who are not willing to. Um, they only see things from their their point of view. We have everyone has a choice, and all these people are getting judged for the choices that they made. What side did they pick? Disgusting. So I need to hear spirit for their highest good. We have nightlight. You have influence over others. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are a beacon of light. They were trying to stop you from being this. It says influence over others, security, prosperity, forward movement, romantic, proceed with goals, gaining insight into a confusing situation, hope. You could be someone here who clears, who gives people clarity when they're in confusing situations. You are this shining light in the darkness of confusion, okay? You could be someone here who helps influence other people to be prosperous. Or you influence others to, to help them instill safety within themselves, okay? Someone here was trying to stop your forward movement, okay? They don't want you to move forward into an entering into a romantic partnership, but this is something that's going to happen anyways. Someone was trying to stop you from proceeding towards your goals, okay? You're being asked to really nurture your body at this time. Your mind, body, and your soul, all right? Because you got positive outcomes that are coming through. You have a tremendous influence over others. You're someone here who is helping humanity, you're needed here. That's why none of their plots or schemes are working. Tell me more, spirit. What else is going on? Someone here could be 51 years old. Don't have to be. 
We have Gemini. Someone here could be a Gemini or they could have Gemini somewhere in their chart. Or there's something here about Gemini, the third house. Something here about communication. Something here about your communication is of significance. Okay? You could be someone who's very funny, charming, okay? Enthusiastic, smart, quick-witted, willing to try new things, adaptable, versatile, okay? Someone here could be 37 years old. Flip where needs to go. You could have Gemini somewhere in your chart or you're dealing with one, all right? Tell me more, spirit. What's happening? What else do you need to hear? Or there's some sort of lover, someone you have a soul connection with that's coming in. Maybe you guys, maybe this person is someone who influences others. Maybe this is somebody here who um, is a beacon of light. We have many riches coming your way. Guidance. It says important decision for the better. Fortune. So whoever I'm speaking to, you got, you got an opportunity to evolve here. When it comes to love. When it comes to some sort of prosperity here. Something about your treasure chest. It says problems will resolve themselves. You're having a fresh start. It says do not get involved in others' problems. All right? You're being asked to rest and rejuvenate. Don't get involved in nobody else's problems right now. Okay? We have clothesline. Maybe somebody here hung themselves and they want you to help them get down. Don't. I'm also getting if someone here was trying to air out your dirty laundry, their dirty laundry is about to be aired out. We have flag. It says peace, prosperity, patriotism, fight for a good cause, success, and completion. Yeah, you need to know that you're supported. You got loyal supporters, okay? And you're being asked to continue to stand up for your beliefs. Take pride in who you are, okay? What else is going on? <laughs> we got the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> we have a new direction it says cleansing energy light lightness it says releasing negative energy luck and prosperity much needed privacy it says sorting out your issues okay so you're listen if someone here was invading your privacy that's coming to an end okay i'm also getting there's a need for you to keep certain things private about your life especially when it comes to your lover situation this is under gemini don't communicate something you got to be quiet about um a soul connection that you have with somebody or something like that. Okay. We have smoke here. You're going to be achieving great success. You're about to embark on some sort of lucky break here. The divine is clearing the way for you. You're going to be meeting people that um, you, you uh, share the common ground with or something like that. And then we have puzzle. It says someone will come to your aid. Be strategic and patient. It says confidence. It says resolving a problem time with others. Someone here is going to help you, okay? Yeah, whatever you've been wishing for or hoping for is coming true, okay? Ooh, I don't know. This is, uh, you got to open your heart or something, Joe. I don't know. <laughs> Or maybe there's a Gemini here that you need to um, clear away, okay? Maybe the, the negativity is coming from a Gemini. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Okay, flip where needs to go. What else do they need to hear, spirit? Should I do these? Or should I do another one? No, let's do these. What else do you need to hear, Spirit? We got Pioneer. So whoever I'm speaking to, you're doing something that hasn't been done before. Okay? 
It says passion for doing and creating what has not been done before. That's what you're doing. That's what you're embarking on. Okay? That's why it feels... That's why you're not going to be getting all the answers. Okay? All at once. It's like... I don't know. Let me see what else is going on. You're about to get a brand, you're about to get a good idea or something. That's why you need to rest and rejuvenate so this so, so this download can come in. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water as well. Okay? We have Femme Fatale. It says highlights the erotic energy of the feminine. Opens your heart when your dependency is rejected. Okay? I don't know. Someone's trying to make you look like a a whore, a whore. <laughs> Something like that be going on, Joe. Let me see what else is going on. Mother, something here about somebody, mama. <sighs> okay, or you might be a mother, or. Someone, like I said, someone might be a grandma. Someone might become a mother. I don't know. Or you just have like this mother-like energy. But you're also like this. You give off this erotic energy of the feminine. I don't I don't know, y'all. You can be very sexy and also very nurturing, loving, patient. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. We got goddess. You a goddess, baby. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're a goddess. Someone's trying to shut down this goddess. It says the feminine expressed through wisdom, nature, life force, and sensuality. We have prince. Somebody sees you. Okay. It says romantic charm and potential for power. I don't know. Someone wants to come in and give you an offering. reverse says so playing the victim for positive feedback in the form of pity inability to maintain personal boundaries somebody's mama could be out here playing the victim or something like that this could have been somebody here who um was invading your privacy or crossing your boundaries Someone here could be trying to like make other people feel sorry for them for them, okay? By trying to tell them that you're doing something wrong to them or something, or you you hurt them in some way. Or if you reject a, an individual, someone's gonna play the victim, or they have been playing the victim if this is someone you've already rejected. Or someone's trying to make you a victim. Someone knows about this. Someone here is going to help you, okay? Uh, be careful about an offer. That's all I got to say. Be careful about somebody coming in with a fucking offer. Because something about this is weird. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do they need to hear? What else they need here for their highest good, Holy Spirit, regarding this situation? We have caught a case. Someone here could have caught a sexual infection or a sexual disease. Or they caught a case, like a legal case. We have fake account. It says fake social media accounts to spy. Facebook, Instagram, t uh, Twitter, etc. We have moving on. Thank you, next. So you are moving on from somebody here who's been who has an STD and they they could be spying you spying on you with fake accounts. This person wants to come in and kiss your ass. So these are the flowers. Where are you, sir? Someone's coming up with a brilliant idea to come in and try to seduce you. This is the vibe I'm getting. Somebody also wants to seduce you so you could get pregnant. They want to get you to be their their the mother of their children. This person wants to come in with the flowers. You see this motherfucker? This is someone here who's addicted to self-pity. This is someone here who lacks boundaries. Okay? This is someone here who's a professional victim coming in with these flowers. 
wanting to kiss your ass. But they're not just bringing flowers to you, baby. They're, bling they're bringing a fucking gift that you can't fucking get rid of. Okay? This could be an earth sign. Or any of the other signs that I said. Something here about evidence, proofs, or facts, or like I said before, someone here could be drinking, or someone wants to get you drunk to sleep with you or something. Maybe this person wants to take photos of you or film you guys being intimate. Just be mindful. We have inside scoop. It says a closer look, nosy up in your business. Somebody is all up in your business. Someone here could be trying to hack your accounts or something like that. We have creativity. It says, steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates, or feeds off you. This is what this person be doing. Or because you cut this person off or since you moved on from this person, they can no longer feed off of you. And they're like, they're losing their shit. This person is even thinking about, like, fantasizing about, fantasizing about, like, forcing themselves on you. So they can get your energy. Like, somebody's weird. Someone's sick. Someone needs to get... Someone's going to get arrested. They will get arrested. We have played out. Okay? This person's games, the games they be playing, is played out. You had enough of it. You don't want to deal with this person. Tell me more. Yeah, we have girl fight out, good girl, uh, girl fight out here. So somebody here is trying to get you into some form, form of our argument or physical fight. Or somebody here wants you to be competing with somebody, okay? Or somebody doesn't like that you're not competing back with them or something like that, okay? We have fake smiles as well. Don't tell me there's a girl out here because it did say I'm already in a relationship. So there could be someone here who's already in a relationship, okay? And the person that they're with knows that this person or could have found out that this person was under fake accounts trying to spy on you and get the inside scoop of what you got going on in your life. This could have pissed off this this feminine energy or this man, flip it where he needs to go, whoever they're with. And this person now wants to create an argument with you. They want to fight with you because of that. I feel like this may be someone you don't even want. Okay? We got fake smiles here. So this could be a, a, two people who are in a relationship that are faking that they are happy being in that relationship together. Because this person is literally all in their head about you, overthinking, stressed, and overanalyzing about you. Yikes. Romantic love affair. Someone wants to have a sex fix with you, so someone's just lusting after you. That's all they're trying to do. This is not this is not your twin flame. This is not your destined partner. This is not your divine spouse. Okay. We have dirt digging. It says looking for dirt on you or vice versa. So the person that the person that your ex or your karmic ex is with is trying to dig up dirt on you. Okay. But this this individual is a fan of yours. They're a groupie or they're pretending to act like they're a groupie or they're a fan of yours. This is sick. These people are sick. <laughs> we got crying over you. It says sad, hurt, upset, etc. So somebody here is definitely crying over you, but they're pretending they're happy. Yeah, we got reflecting dirty offer. Someone's reflecting on how they can come in with some sort of dirt, dirty offer when it comes to you. <sighs> Nothing but the, 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 the plots and schemes of the devil is right here. That's all this is. Yeah, look, the freaking card came over. It fell over again. Thief. This person's a thief. That's all he is. They're coming in to kill, steal, and destroy. That's all this person's whole situation is. What's this person want to do? What's this person's intentions for coming through? Envy. This person envies you. It says, I will seek to undermine your successes as a means of elevating my own standing. 
interesting. We have Grapevine. It says, I heard something you're going to be interested in. So someone wants to come in and, and entice you about something here. It's lies. It's trickery. It's foolery. It's illusions. This person's envying you or this person envies you. They're trying to undermine you. Like I said in the beginning of the reading, someone's trying to make you look stupid, but this person's fucking dumb. Someone's trying to undermine you. This person could be collaborating with a bunch of people. We have collaboration. It says, let's work together to achieve shared success. Hell no. Let's not. You fucking jealous weirdo. <laughs> the fuck? Let's get out the shells. Okay, someone's first middle or last name could start with a J, an R, a Y, an S, a V, an M, an H, an I, a K, a C, an S, an H, a W, another W, an E, a U again, a T, an I, an R, an X, a B, an E, an F, a Y, an L, an N, a P and an L again. Someone here could be 33 years old or something here about Ascended Masters could be guiding you at this time, okay? Or someone here could be a master number 33. Someone here could be 70, um, 70, yeah, sure. Someone here could be 75 years old or 57. Someone here could be 29 years old, 39 years old, 32, 53, 59, okay? Yeah, something about last year's of significance. We got 2023 out here. Let's see what's happening. Someone here could be a master builder, number 22. A life path, three, nine, five, and seven. Someone's name is Emily. Okay, this could be you or someone else. Why do I feel like someone wants to know how old you are? Someone here could be a junior. Someone's name could be Jerry. Or something here about Jericho could be of significance. We're just missing the O. Someone here is about to be rich. We got rich out here. Or someone's trying to stop you from being rich. Someone here could be thinking a lot about something here. Someone could be trying to think of a way to get you to fall into some sort of trap here. Someone here could be a reverend, okay? Someone here could be plotting revenge on you. Think of a way to get back at you. Someone's name could be Jessica. Someone's name could be Jesse. Someone here could be from New York. Someone here could be from Cincinnati. I don't know. Something here about Netflix. Maybe somebody wants to Netflix and chill with you. We got Netflix out here. Or maybe this is somebody here that you used to Netflix and chill with. Someone here is planning on trespassing or something like that. Or someone here is going to get charged with a trespassing charge. We have Felix out here again. Someone here could be a jet setter.
Someone here could work at a library a library, whatever. Someone here could be a seer. This could be you or someone else. Someone knows this about you. They're trying to stop you from doing this. Someone feels like you talk a lot. We got lip out here. Or someone here could talk a lot about you. Something here about JFK is of significance. Something here about John F. Kennedy. Or something about the JFK airport. I don't know. Someone here could be a sergeant. Someone wants to sleep with you or someone's upset because they slept on you. We got sleep or someone here keeps trying to mess with you in your sleep. I don't know. Someone's name could be Jeff or Jeffrey. Someone's trying to catch you slipping. We got slip out here. Someone knows that their future is bleak. We got the word bleak out here. You're being set free. Whoever I'm speaking to, okay? Someone doesn't want you to slip out their grip. Someone doesn't want you to be set free from them someone's name is Chris with a K and a C something here about Christ is of significance something here about a wish Somebody could have wished something on you or your, your wish is coming true. Something here about prescription medication is of significance. We did get... Oh, that was in the other read. Maybe someone's trying to put pills somewhere. Someone here is a definite creep. We got creep out here. Or someone's creepy. Or maybe if you notice that someone around your property is giving you strange vibes or someone around you that's giving you creepy vibes, you need to listen to that because they're a fucking creep. Someone wants to visit you. Creepy visit. <laughs> That's literally what this says. Creepy visit. Someone's trying to like visit you and it's creepy. Or this is something that may have already happened to you. Someone could have visited you in the middle of the night and it was creepy. It was weird. That's that's the person that wants to assault you. Okay, this could be a neighbor for some of you, not all y'all. Someone's name could be Peter. Someone's name could be Peter. Or something about the story in the Bible about Peter. Or someone's name could be Pete. Someone doesn't want you to rise. Someone here could be shy. You could be shy. This person could be shy. Something here about your Wi-Fi could be of significance. I don't know if someone's hacking your Wi-Fi. Someone's name is Teresa. Someone has VCR tapes of you or something. 
There's something here on a VCR. That is some old ass shit, Joe. Something's on. Something. Someone could be recording off of VCR tapes. Or something. Maybe someone's trying to do this so that it doesn't connect to a Wi-Fi or this video doesn't get stored in the cloud. So they use VCR tapes. They record on the VCR tape. What the fuck am I tapping into? Someone's name is Keith. Someone's name could be Keith. Someone's last name could be Smith. Someone's name could be Stefan or Steven or something here about your steps. Someone is, someone could have left something outside of your steps if you have steps outside your home. Or someone's watching your every step. This could be an X. Someone's name could be Kim. We got Kimberly out here. Someone's name could be Kimberly. Confirmation. Listen, I'm not trying to scare y'all, but you guys need to be cautious of your surroundings at this time because you got a sicko on your hands. Like on some real shit, this is a sicko. This is someone here who's sick. This whole group of individuals are sick. Okay. I'm going to end this. Someone's name is Riley. Shirley. Someone could go by Bree. Something about Berlin is of significance. Someone here could drive Lyft. L-Y-F-T. Someone here could drive for a living. Someone here could be an RN. Someone, something here about your P. I don't know, we got the word P out here. Okay. Maybe someone's watching you P. Someone's gonna go off on a spree. Someone might be going off on a killing spree. I don't know. Something here about a rhythm and a rhyme. Maybe someone's a rapper. Don't have to be, put it where it needs to go. Or someone here like leaves riddle, riddles or rhymes for their victims. I don't know what this, I don't know who I'm tapping into, but I gotta go. I don't wanna be in here. Someone needs help. Tell me more. <laughs> what is going on so we can wrap this up? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What do they need to hear at this time? We have Blue Jays. You guys could be seeing a lot of Blue Jays at this time. It says, you are encouraged to follow your feelings and intuition. This is a reminder that your personal power is in your own hands and that you are free to take flight at any time if you find yourself in a situation that doesn't suit you anymore. You have the right to move on. There's someone here that you're dealing with that does not feel like you have a right to move on. This person is possessive over you. They feel like you're their property. Ooh, chow. Tell me more, spirit. We have transition with the frog here. It says, this is a powerful time of change. You are being called to connect with the world of emotions and feminine energies. You may also need to engage in a process of cleansing, whether it's physical, emotional, spiritual, or energetic. Okay, to help along with this transition. We have spider manifestation. You guys could be seeing a lot of spiders. It says, you weave your web in life. What you see before you are the results of your thoughts. 
If your current reality does not suit you, then it is time to make changes through conscious manifestation. Your energy can bring in all you desire. Listen, y'all. Some of you might be um, not utilizing the power of your subconscious while you're sleeping. Some of you might need to play... Um, what's it called subliminal subliminal messages while you sleep like those types of um those types of videos okay with the with the music and the and the the i am affirmations while you're sleeping okay to help manifest something here for you we have transition out here twice we have bat you guys gonna be seeing bats a lot it says, you must pay attention to the signs around you. Child, somebody need to hear this. It says, the transition may seem frightening at first. <laughs> I don't like this. But you must be, you must let go of old habits and patterns that no longer serve your higher calling. They would only hinder your growth. So like I was saying before, there are certain habits that you guys could be holding on to or, you know, you're having a hard time switching up or changing or letting go of them, right now is the perfect time for you to change them. Because whatever these habits are, they they can't they can't come with you to where you're meant to be unless you're going to miss the bus. Do you want to miss the bus? I don't think you want to miss the bus on your own life, on your own destiny. Get it together. I'm saying this cuz I love you. What else do they need to hear for the self-care spirit so we can bounce? Listen, guys, somebody's trying to do something diabolical, something real treacherous-like, okay? Um, I don't like the energy. I really don't. It's kind of like, it's like making me mad. <laughs> it's making me mad, okay? Um, okay, something about your food. <laughs> Let me calm down. Something about your food, okay? It says your body is your temple. Try changing your eating habits. So maybe for some of you, the the habit that you need to change is the way you eat, the food you're putting in your body, okay? Okay. I'm also getting something here about like, maybe some of you are skipping breakfast. Or maybe you guys are eating too late at night. Or you're having too many snacks in between meals or something. That, something like that could be going on. Or you're not eating enough throughout the day. We have take a vacation. It says take time to escape all your life obligations to recharge yourself. So some of you may need to take a little vacay. Go out. Chill. Look at the, look at the clouds. Okay. Free your mind. Oh, come on. We have shadow work. It says uncover every part of you that has been repressed and abandoned. Okay. Maybe that's what you're being asked to do. Come on now. Nah. Show yourself some kindness as well. And then we have home needs TLC. It says give your home some attention. Redecorate, clean, or sage it. And you're being asked to avoid toxic people. It says, hang out with people who will uplift your spirit, not bring it down. Okay? Because you got someone who is toxic that wants to bring down your spirit. Okay? What did it say again? This person wants to undermine your ass. I will seek to undermine your successes. Hell no. Don't bring this person into your life. Tell them they need a 50 feet is what you should tell them. What else do they need to hear, spirit? We have be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faith in prayer. Okay? Pray about this. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. All right? And then we have meek Moses. It says, Proof that faith can coexist with fear. God used him to lead the Israelites to freedom. His disobedience ex exiled him, but God never left him. 
Someone's trying to get you to be disobedient to the divine. Don't do it. Okay? Somebody wants God to exile you or something. Someone wants you to lose your connection with source. We got Mary at the bottom of the deck. Mary of Nazareth. It says proof that God can use anyone. It says a virgin of low social status. It says she was chosen to bear Jesus. It says Mary trusted and obeyed God despite her fear. So despite your fear. Because someone's trying to use fear to control you. It's not going to work. Okay? Continue to maintain having courage. Alright? I got to go. We gotta go. I'm trying to get these readings to be shorter. <laughs> Holy spiritual angels, what else they need here so we can bounce? Gosh, diggity dang. It says never settle, so you're being told never to settle. Don't sell yourself short. And then we have take the risk. Take the risk. And not in not in the the risk where it's going you're going backwards. Don't do that. Okay, take that risk on yourself. That investment in yourself. We have hold your head up, child. Be proud of who you are. What else do we need to hear, spirit? So we can get out of here. Can I get one? Just get one for them, Spirit. Thank you. We have 888 Karma, okay? It says a lot of money is coming your way. Fortune refers to more than just monetary and material success. If you don't appreciate the people in your life now, you won't have them tomorrow. This message encourages you to take personal responsibility and use it to realize your greatest potential. Realize your greatest potential, baby boo. <laughs> Because you got something magnificent inside of you. Okay? This is going to be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, I love you. Okay, bye.